had I had hoped for a dry day so I could put all that stuff outside out of the way but I think I'll still manage plan today is to build a wood stacking rack thing against that wall over there made from treated pine sleepers So I started at 700 mils on that end and then did it with a spirit level to get the next height because there's a slope in the floor and the difference between one end and the other is two centimeters, 20 mil. So I'm gonna work off that, work off doing the shelves level, not running the same slope as the floor. and I space them every second stud in the wall. So I'll tie them into the studs. Anyway, my plan is to notch the shelves in to the sleeper. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Slightly new plan and slightly new measurements as well, but dun dun dun. Guess it needs sharpening. That is very tough cutting because the wood's so wet, I think.
RIP dead killed it the poor thing gone it was actually blowing smoke earlier but I didn't catch that on camera and when it started doing that I thought well it's buggered now might as well keep going till it actually dies so it's dead. I killed it. I need to buy my brother a new saw. That's his.
bit of nice pinch fit. Anyone I think I planned it that way. I will put some angle brackets on, well probably on the top there and maybe a straight bracket on the outside there just to hold them in place and then the weight drives down through that into that and and see Plenty strong. Fingers crossed. Okay, I think I went about done. Um, these braces here have taken all the wobble out of sideways here. Uh, and I've done the same on both sides. I've used angle brackets just to hold them in place. Uh, the top ones have a 100mm screw coming down through them. Uh, I'm pretty confident about everything now. In fact, so much so, I'm about to put stuff on it. That's a seriously awkward pallet of crap off my floor. Up there now, out of the way. You might ask, why am I keeping rubbish like that? Well, let me show you something. That table right there, made from rubbish like that. It's beautiful, but I can stay up there out of my way for now. And the next thing to do is put that pallet, the pallet, up on the shelf. Some of that underneath is newer uh, fence palings, but most of that the big heavy things are for my new workbench. I presume you saw the same flaw in my system here that I have now noticed. Having three pillars just sort of knocks this bay out of action because wood that sits there can't sit there. So that's a bit of a pain. So I guess the solution is to put another bay over here. Which is kind of what I had in mind in the first place. I bought four of those longer posts to do exactly that. But when I set them out on the wall, I thought it was looking too wide. No, no, it has to go wide, so. Anyway, pleased I can get rubbish like that off my floor now. And get that one up there, probably tomorrow. Because I'm stuffed. 
nearly dinner time. Right. I'll leave it at that for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you were cheering for me. Like and subscribe for more shenanigans about how I do stuff, not how you should do stuff. But you might learn from my mistakes because I make plenty. Anyway, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye. See you later. Dinner time.